Hey Dolly, how are you doing? This is a very casual me because I have been working out in the yard. <laughs> the pre pre prepared for tonight. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. What are you doing today? You doing anything fun, Dolly, this weekend? You just doing chores? Working out in the yard is kind of fun for me, even though it's a chore. I enjoy doing it, too. I'm so happy spring is here. Ah. You have a lot going on, too, because I'm organizing our 50th high school reunion, too. So I've been working on those kinds of plans. I can't believe it. It's like the time just went by so quickly. Can't believe it's a 50 year reunion, that's crazy. Now Dolly, you and Anna are the same age, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a little bit at a time out there. I like getting the exercise. It's good for my fibromyalgia, but I try. I want to do it all at once, but I do it in little, little sections. Did you graduate in 77, Dolly? Were you the same age as Anna? Are you the same age as Anna? I can't remember. Oh, okay. I could I couldn't remember. I knew you were close the same closer than you and I were. So I was a senior, you were a sophomore, and I was a freshman, so okay. Yeah, I was trying to think of something because the challenge for the for the team challenge and everything was rings today, and I was like, I've been so out of stock and rings because they're bought up so fast and I just was thinking well what could I do so I just pulled out pretty much everything that I had that is a flower or kind of looks like a flower so I got 22 things it'll take me about 30 minutes to show them or so 30 to 40 depending on how many other people might come in here you might get a private show Dolly <laughs> I did that with I think it was Angela the other day. Oh, yeah. She doesn't, um, she retired from the post office and she works at some convenience store up there um, in Lowell. Yeah. Oh, hi, Tasha. Hey, Tasha, I'm going to do your invoice right after this, okay? I got to take care of that. I needed to go outside and get some yard work done while it was nice and not so hot it's supposed to be 71 degrees today which i know sounds like a nice temp but it's humid here 
instead of dry like it is in in Colorado. So I'm going to do that right after the show. Okay, and I got your picks. I'm going to be doing announcements. I'm going to be setting up the uh, Team Blessed or Team Beautiful page too. So I'll I'll get you in all the things you need to be in. So okay, guys, it's five after. I'm going to go ahead and start because I have 22 rings. It shouldn't take me that long. You know, maybe 30 minutes. Just depends. So must be nice outside because not a lot of people are in. But the um. <laughs> weather gets better and everybody's outside which that's great that's great so guys I'm not going to do card numbers I'm just going to go 1 through 22 on these rings okay 1 through 22 so this one is a wide back and I'm in my casualness Tasha because I was working outside today's thing is like garden so I've got flowers I've got leaves I've got like iron work that might be on gates or or things hanging on walls out in the garden so this is a teal colored flower on the ring all the beading on the outside and each of the leaves it's a dark teal hard to see the color but dark teal and then the little slices in the little center in the middle of the flower okay that's going to be ring number one. This next one is really pretty. Now this is a um, copper ring. It has yellow, amberish, topaz colored stones. So this is like, oh hi Tanya. So this one is number two. It's got the wide back. Casual dress for me today. Tanya was working out in my yard. This is so pretty. It look, To me, it looks like leaves. And look at the color of those stones. So bright and so pretty. It's a very different color and very feminine to me looking. And when it has that open space in the middle, even though it's a wider ring, it doesn't look like it. It kind of slims down the size of the ring. No card numbers today, ladies. I'll just tell you what number this is. This is number two. Two out of 22. This is another wide back. This one has a larger yellow, like topaz center. This does have leaves on it and scroll work. It's not really a flower, but it does have leaves and scroll work. Beautiful golden yellow or light orange amber you can use all kinds of different words for it but see there's leaves on there there's scroll work and then that large yellow amber stone wide back hello darlene how are you doing so this one will be number three Number three, yeah, this is a beautiful stone. It's not too large and it's not too small. But, you know, kind of looks like a the center of a flower, but no flowers in that one. But on the other hand, this one coming up, number four, is for sure a flower. And it's a wide band here. And this is a yellow. Boy, my backyard is yellow. It is covered, you guys, in so many daffodils right now both the yellow ones and the white ones look at that isn't that cute it's got the wide back it's got the little holes in the flower petals inside little flower petals and then this yellow stone isn't that cute and then it just has four little dots on the upper on the vertical and the horizontal sides of the stone but this is yellow and I do have trying to make sure here okay I have two of number two I have two of number three 
and I have two of this number four. I only have one of number five. It's another wide back. And this is a flower, but it has kind of an Aztec design on the flower. All the lacy edges around here and the white center. For all that white, you'll start wearing again for the spring and the summer. I like that this has the pointy edges on those petals on the flower. Number four, oh, sorry, number five, and I only have one of those. Sorry, I'm turning around to my rings to make sure when I'm telling you. Okay. This is number six, wide back. This is another flower. I only have one of this. Pretty larger flower with a little turquoise center. Nice and fun ring to wear. And it has the lines in it that come out from the center. That's number six. Number seven, I've been calling this a fan ring, but it could also be a flower. Wide back. Number seven. This is a white moonstone ring with all of these little, could be fan blades, could be a flower, either one. Number seven. Just one of that one. Just one of this one too, wide back. Number eight. Reminds me of a flower as well. The center, the little pieces there. A black background with the beads on it, the small beads. See, it kind of looks like a flower when you're not so close up. Number eight for that one. Hi, Sandra. I'm showing 22 rings, and this one is number eight. Some of the flower uh, ones that really look like flowers, I'll just um, show you real quick. Sandra, this is a teal one, number one. This is a yellow one, number four. This is a white one, number five. And this is a flower with a turquoise center, number six. I showed eight, was that purple one? So now we're gonna go to nine. Wide back, and this is just grasses. If you wear animal prints or something, I have one of these and I wear it with my, with my animal prints. But you know, it's nature based with all those grasses or they could be bamboo reeds or anything like that on this ring. This is number nine. Number nine. Not doing card numbers today, just putting them in a row. Now this is a thin back one. This will be number 10 and this is a flower with black center. That's a cute little flower in the middle. And then you've got all of the scroll work around with four more of the black rhinestones. I like the little dainty flower in the middle. That's number 10. Number 11 is a wide back. This is a little flower on top of a mushroom, is what we've all come to say that it is. It's all silver, and see how that just, it looks like a mushroom top? That's what we've all figured out that that is, is like a mushroom top, 
kind of, and um, the little flower with the white clear crystal in the middle. I like the little petals on this thing, and, and it's very dainty. And for some re reason, you guys remember back in the day when, um, hi Lorraine, when everything was, uh, had mushrooms on it, the canisters in your mom's kitchen, the towels in the kitchen, there was a lot of stuff that was mushroom based. Well, I read the other day that mushrooms are back in design. So anyway, cute little mushroom with the little flower on top. Number 11. Oh, hi Janine. Welcome. I'm just doing a casual show. I hope you ladies can come to my green show tonight. I've got a lot of fun. You guys are going to laugh. And um, a lot more going on at my green show tonight. I have probably 80 items to show tonight. Everything green for St. Patrick's Day. I'm announcing competitions, prizes. Um, it starts at 7 on the East Coast. Yeah, 7 on the East Coast, Lorraine. And... Um, It'll probably last a couple of hours tonight with all of the items I have to show. If you can come and show up, you guys are going to laugh. I've got, <laughs> got some funny stuff planned. So I hope you guys can come to that. I'm showing 22 rings today. They are all uh, garden or nature-based, flower-based, so we can celebrate spring. Um... I'm only doing, I'm, I'm putting, I'm not putting the numbers with the items. I'm only saying them. Lorraine, I know your taste is turquoise. This is a wide band, the stretchy band. And Janine, these fit sizes 6 to 10 with the stretchy backs. Some are thick, some are thin, and everything is $5. So Lorraine, this is a cute little turquoise flower ring. That's number 6. And let's see, this one kind of looks like your style. This is number nine. I'm halfway through the rings, guys, so I've shown 11 of the 22. And also, this one, Lorraine, is number nine. That kind of looks like your style, too, maybe, with the um, kind of either tall weeds or bamboo, grasses, high grasses, something like that. So that's number nine. Okay, so now we're going to go to number 12. You want number 9? I kind of figured you might. <laughs> okay. Tall grasses is what I've been calling that. All right, Lorraine, I got you down for that one. Okay, this number 12 is a thin back. Thin back elastic. You can wear these on multiple fingers because they're elastic. Like, here it is on my ring finger. Because it stretches out, I can wear it on my middle finger. You don't have to know your exact ring size, and that's awesome. And then here it is on my index finger. It's also great for if you have a problem with your hands swelling. If they start swelling up, you got to take off your rings and then you lose your rings. With these, it's just going to expand as your finger swells and it will go back down when it goes back down. Okay, number 12, ladies. These are all leaves and I call these little buds because they're not flowers. So these, this is all this beautiful silver work, all of these little leaves, and the round pieces I call buds. Would have been pretty if they made the, the little round pieces be hot pink or something for a dogwood tree. Okay, this is number 12. Now this next one is a knuckle to knuckle, and it is so pretty. It's a very light tan center and a very large knuckle to knuckle, but it's very dainty at the same time. 
This is a wide band. This is going to be number 13. Really light tan center. And look how big that flower is. Now these, Paparazzi does the design that this doesn't come up into your skin. It kind of comes off the skin a little bit so it won't dig into your finger. And when it has this open area and everything, even though it's larger, it doesn't look like a big bulky ring. It actually elongates your hand, elongates your fingers. I think this one's beautiful because that flower is so big that it's not bulky. Number 13 for that one. Now this number 14, hi Marsha and hi Tracy. This is a gun metal ring. The gun metal is a mix between black and silver. So it's not all black, it's not all silver. It's a wide band. Definitely is a saddle design. See how it curves like this? Now this design has a flower in the middle and then like ironwork garden gate. There's the flower. Like, you know, ironwork on a, on a garden gate or just a piece that you have hanging. I have one hanging on one of my fence pieces out in the backyard. A big piece of iron. I love it. So it's very flat and like you said, you see it can, comes up at the top and bottom. Number 14. Number 14 for this one. Number 15 is a white flower. This has the wide back. Large petals on the outside. Smaller ones with the scalloped edges on the inside. And then a big white bead. Raises up just a little bit. Like I say, getting ready to wear all that white again here in the spring and the summer. Number 15. Now I brought this one out for our garden thing today because it's pretty scroll work and also reminds me of iron work in a garden. It's brass, but it's not shiny brass. It's kind of an antique brass, so it's not shiny in your face. So this It's number 16, and look at all of this pretty metal work on here. All of these scrolls were kind of remind me of flowers too, and little buds on here, and kind of reminds me of iron work. That's a knuckle to knuckle, but again, it raises up at the top and bottom. Number 16. Now, number 17 here, they're, they're flowers, uh, they're kind of artistic roses to me. This is number 17, wide back, all silver work. So this one reminds me of an artistic rose, and this one too. Then you have leaves up there, leaves down here, but it's just all silver. That's number 17. Number 18, again, reminds me of a garden gate or scroll work, metal work on the fence. Gun metal. This is number 18, and this is just a lot of silver work again, or metal work, because it's gunmetal finish. That gray and black, knuckle to knuckle size, but it's so lightweight. Number 18. 
Now, number 19, guys. This, this looks like a lot of little different kinds of artistic flowers. This is a brass one as well, but this would be so pretty wearing with animal print if you're making a trip to the zoo, or it's just a fun ring overall. This is number 19. Wide back, knuckle to knuckle. Hello, Courtney. We're on number 19 of 22 rings right now. And look at this. Look at all of that. The scroll work is the flowers. See all the little scroll pieces around there? All of the little leaf, artistic leaves, branches connecting all of those. So pretty. There it is, not on your, hurting your finger. If I, I had this one because my hands are so small, I would probably wear it on my middle finger. Really, really impressive piece of artistic metal work. Number 19. This is number 20. This is wide back silver ring. And the top little gem reminds me of a flower. This is number 20. I'm trying to see this stone the lighting is so different it's like a grayish purple so you've got chips of clear crystals down here a silver band chips and crystal and this just reminded me of a little flower so it's like a grayish purple it has a little bit of a cone finish that comes up on there number 20 for that one Now, 21 reminds me of number six. Number six was the flower with the turquoise center. Remember, that's number six. This is 21, but it's a wide back, and it's just a plain flower, no color in it. All silver, if you like wearing just all silver, it's a pretty, this is a cute little ring. It's fun. Number 21, all silver. Now you can see some indentions here for the texture in the leaves and that, in that little center of the bead. Number 21. And then lastly, this is actually my favorite of all the rings today. This is brass as well, wide. And this has a very large flower in the center and then two smaller ones on the side. Even though this is all brass, the way they did it with the black and they did, the way they did it with the lines is so mm -hmm. feminine. And then there's two smaller flowers. It's an asymmetrical design. Two flowers on this side, not on that side. And it's kind of on a background plaque there. So this is number 22, the final ring. 22. Okay, anybody want to see anything again? And Janine and Lorraine, I have uh, rings. Okay, Lorraine, I'll get that for you. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, since you guys were a little late, I can tell you before you came in, I showed a white moonstone, I showed another white center ring, a yellow center ring, a couple of amber center rings, and a teal, a teal center ring. If you guys want to see any of those or anybody else that wanted to put an, 
any numbers down you wanted to see again large flower brass ring okay show you the teal one This has a wide back, and then it's very hard to see on camera, but this is a dark teal color. Light catches it about right there. When I do it straight on, it looks black, but it's teal. And so all of those little flower petals in the center, and then the right here. That's the teal one. Cutesy little flower. Okay, so if nobody else wants to see anything, I hope you can come at seven tonight. Let's see, Lorraine, that's your four, right? That's your four o'clock. Oh, okay, Lorraine. That'll be fine. If I'm just sending one item, I'll reduce the shipping if this is for Janine. She might see some other things she sees. Right, yep, I know you're in Florida for a couple more weeks. So, uh, if there's anything you want there, I'll help with the postage. But might see something else here on some of these shows before you leave down there that Janine might want to. So just PM me and let me know. I'll put that down for you. Okay, everybody, I hope you can come at 7 Eastern. That's 4 Pacific. It's 5 Mountain. It's 6 Central, 7, yeah. You guys don't even know you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh for some of the things I have that you're going to see tonight. But, yeah, about 80 pieces, guys, of green. It's going to take me an hour and a half to two hours, really. <laughs> Janine's laughing. <laughs> That's good. I like people to laugh during the show. All right, guys. Thank you for taking time out of your afternoon, spending your time with me. It's a commodity you don't get back. So, um, all right, Dolly. I'll see you guys tonight. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Thanks again. Thanks for your support, as always. Goodbye.